Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah.
bad, boy. Idiot. Let's go, boy. Yep. Okay, let's take a look. What is it? Thank you, Art. I think you misunderstood me earlier. I ain't trying to rob you. You know me better than that. What are you trying to do, Micah? Save you. Save everybody. You know me. Good morning, Arthur. I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Meet you all someplace and we'll be home free. That's it. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. Um, I 
Think about it. Thank you. Here. I'll do whatever you say. Always. Hey there. Morning. Hey, come on, boy. Relax. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... Well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. To me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a 
hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Hi there. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up the sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Let's head up to the ridge up there. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here.
Okay. I think that's them over there. So what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. What are you killing them for? Hey, don't stop all over them. Christ, you're... You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Round up the stragglers. Oh. Those are up, boys. There you go. Sheep. They're okay. Oh, 
You seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> a lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. Sunshine, I'll buy you a whiskey. There's one. Are you coming then? There, boy. There, okay, boy. But in the end, I don't believe in absolute, just shades of After race. After you, Compromise. sir. Compromise it. Well, I have never been a man for compromising. I fear at my age I am too old to change. Gentlemen. Dutch, Maypo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay. Um, a few sheep. Good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? Robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning the yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. Why not? Watch you rob from me! Vandalin! You're done! Now get out here now! 
deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor... Horses are over there! Grab Sprouts and let's go! Get out of here! You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs>
Okay. So, we keep heading east, is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? Turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. So, we moving? Yeah. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, one you find, before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? Okay, boy. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. Hey. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear. Clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And... There ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Well, uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried-up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure it'll be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. The Bible's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make... Or... Is everybody... 
Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Okay, looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons, anyway, when you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you asked me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Continues along the short. Like I was talking about, bastards told me they'd killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard. Collect the money for those sheep. 
He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on... For a while. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. They carry on along this trail. What was I talking about? Oh, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago. He did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Take a look. Hold! Where? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather. Quick. Cut him free and let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Vorsicht! Hey, Jammer! I see three coming this way. What the hell do you think you're doing? Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? They're all up. Doesn't look like it. Okay, getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. To your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld? Money? Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English.
Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, oh. Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! This place, oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Look at this. Farm boy Mori. Arthur. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. Just like every other creature on this world. But I'm not saying you should go damage my Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Here's a big help today. morning.
plug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? Hi. Let me know if you need help with that, Arthur. like one big party how wrong i was it's not all so bad It's in our skin now. Yes. Morning, Arthur. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a creek around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along, old Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and trouble birds. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Through. Okay, go. Yep. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. 
After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a clue of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa! Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy pop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I, shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what do these fellas want it for? <laughs> Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Our... <laughs> Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Uh, looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Go past the cop. Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Yep. Keep us close to the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why 
I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. <clears throat> there you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said just got down here another big family in these parts they have an estate west of here awful people truly awful they've been fighting with the grays for as long as i can remember sounds like quite the place you got here is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. 
Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out over rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Jose, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Jose, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. I still have a nightmare about me. You know, that younger than dad a few years back. That's how it is. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Gray? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. 
He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. Where is this spot, Hosea? Pimbuck 2? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> this is the spot. Down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. But what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. Gentlemen. You won't catch much without a rod. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like... 